What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber that trying. You see the thumbnail. Here's what's funny about raising kids when they weren't with you, right? So I wound up getting my son, you know, back or whatever, you know, high school, you know, that that critical age, right? Uh, but what's funny is kids tell you, you know, sometimes you start looking at it like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And you and, and that constant back and forth between two households, it becomes hilarious because you it's the battle of what I used to get away with versus what I can no longer get away with. What I used to do versus what I got to do now. You know, what works for me over there, what works for me over here. And what's funny is You got two different ideologies clashing once again, but the thought of ah 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 can I go back? No, no, no. I want to go back, but I don't want to go back. It's like, listen, man, I'm having a great time here, and you know the other funny thing is I'm gonna have to even with my son in particular, I'm gonna have to break his heart. I'm gonna have to break his heart. I already know it. I already know it. I already know it. So he got a little girlfriend, you know, back in the, in the state he came from. And caveat, college story, go down memory lane with me. I was a freshman in college, Jones Hall, Southern University. My sweet mates, roommates, we come, we meet at the end of the day, and I start talking my shenanigans. And I tell him, I say, listen, man, there's two things I do know for sure. Uh, one is this your room now, so your room back home ain't your room no more. And two, if you got a girlfriend and she don't go to this school, she ain't your girlfriend no more. So what happened was we went home, air quotes, for Christmas. <laughs> you know, the Christmas break and you come back. And most of my roommates was mad at me. We went in my room, man. They turned my room into a oh no, why is this? That's how that was my room. You you ain't I'm like, hey bro, I told you that ain't your room no more. You grown. This your room. Get used to it. You might as well, you know, the, the address on that driver's license ain't real no more. I hate you. I hate you. It's running like red. He gonna cry when he get in the car. And, but then the worst one of all, people came back from Christmas break. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Everybody she loves me, friend. She broke up with me. She said she got another man. I wish I never met her at all. Even though I love her so much, she's got love for me. It's your fault. So I'm going to have to break hit my, my son's heart. I'm like, listen, man, that ain't your girlfriend no more. You might as well, you know, as long as y'all look young, puppy love, you know what I'm saying? Y'all still teenagers. As long, you know, but when that FaceTime, you're going to run out. You know, that FaceTime, answering it less and less. You're going you gonna to go from accept to decline. So it's the funny thing is you got to tell these life lessons, right? You know, you got to tell them life lessons. And, and then the other thing about it is um, mothers... Parents, sons, and I talked about this recently. Um, moms just can't. Uh, moms teach boys about the, the hair and shoes. <laughs> this your hair. A real man have his hair done, baby, and a real man got his shoes. Uh, like I and I and I've noticed that across the board. Like most guys who've been predominantly around women are very much more concerned about their hair and their shoes. Then it was in their head and how to use their hands and this, that, and the third, right? So it's one of those things. It's just one of those things. So I, I kind of like, you tripping, you tripping. So let's, you know, fast forward, fast forward. Um, this becomes funny to me because it's like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And then you also got to deal with the, with, with the, um, 
and I had I had to deal with this myself. To not be so hard because the kids I know how to do this, but they don't know, you know, don't know how to do it. So then the pride kicks in. I've been saying I know how to do this the whole time. And now I'm expected to know how to do this stuff, but now I actually don't know how to do this stuff. But now I can't say I don't know how to do this stuff because I kept saying I know how to do this stuff. And it becomes like, man, what are you doing? I thought you know how to do this. And then again, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. You pouring salt in, in water with Kool-Aid makes and saying that it's sweet and sour, Kool-Aid. Like, what are you doing? And it becomes hilarious because it's like, oh, okay, you've been taught to fake it until you make it or to stall or to scam. And it's like, oh, okay. And then, and then they get used to the way you live and the way they live and they try to incorporate it. And it's like, that ain't going to work in this house, player. Not going to work. Not going to work. And then uh, one thing I have learned is um, the difference between <clears throat> my son knows if I say something, I'm going to do it. And he's still trying to catch up to that. Because if he say something, I'm going to do it eventually. No, we ain't got that. No, 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 play. I said, I said it. Because, because being around women, you work in technicalities. You know, I did that. No, you didn't. No, I did it like one time two years ago. That don't mean you did. Oh, you know what? I quit. I quit. I quit. I just quit. So you did something one time two years ago, and I'm asking you about this week, and you were bringing up one time two years ago. You know what? This is ridiculous. But that's just my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, and die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.